What is up, y'all? It is RZ Jones 18 coming at you with the, I think, official final haul for the summer. This is the final haul. This is part three of my three part summer series. Thank you guys very much for watching the series. I appreciate it. It originally was supposed to be just one part, but things happened, and I will explain as we go. Um, certain things are no longer part of my collection, and that was to further a new one. Uh, and I will explain in a minute. I'm going to rotate my fan here real quick. That's better. Okay. Alright, so back in the first part of this series, I focused on Transformers. The pictures so far for both for all three of these series have been Transformers, and part three will be no different. Uh... In that part, we just in part one we discussed Bumblebee, Premium Edition Optimus Prime, Cheetor, Ratchet, Soundwave, and part two. Oh, and also part one was Battle Trap. In part two, we discussed Mirage, Impactor, and Megatron. Since oh, we also discussed uh, two other figures, which was Studio Series Core Class RC and uh, War for Cybertron Deluxe Starscream. Neither of those are in my collection anymore. However, they have been replaced with upgraded versions of their characters, and I'm very excited to show you guys those. But we'll start off with this one first. Uh, this guy, I have his mold mate, and unlike his mold, and like his mold mate, he has the leg issues. This is Studio Series Bumblebee Ironhide, and yeah, buddy, he looks fantastic. Oh, he looks great. He looks great on the shelf. I gave him both guns because that's how I feel. Um, Iron High would be, he'd be dual wielding, and so he's my medic. I want to keep him there. And um, so here's the thing I've officially kind of just given up on the fact now that I have him, he has the leg syndrome too. Uh, it's unfortunate, I don't understand why this mole has this leg issue. I think it's because I think it's because they're pinned on, honestly. I really wish they weren't because then I could fix the actual joint because like the arms are tough and stiff. Um, his waist isn't the best, but I can tighten that up with the screw, no problem. But his legs are just, it's super frustrating. Um, it's my only real gripe with the figure. The, uh, the head sculpt looks fantastic. So that's Ironhide. That, that's, that's rounding out the team for the Autobots. I am missing Brawn and Wheeljack. They will happen within due time. Uh, things have again changed for collecting for the rest of the year, and I'll get to them when we get to them. Uh, the one after that, uh, I got the same day, was, I got him, guys. I got Ravage. Uh, he looks great with his companion, but the best part is, he came with the piece I needed for Soundwave. And that's how it's been displayed on my shelf, with uh, Ravage in his chest and the gun part into his blaster. So that's Ravage, I'm very happy with that. Next up after that, I got these two. They are Studio Series Bumblebee, Starscream, and Thrust. This replaced the Fall of Cybertron Starscream now that I have him. I love these so much. This was my sister's, little sister's favorite was Thrust. Um, because he's got the cone head. He's cool. But, yay. I just need to find a Thundercracker, and I know, I know we're possibly getting a Sky Warp next year, so to round out the four of them. But yeah, I have my first two Seekers for Moby. Yay! Very happy. The next upgrade I got in Transformers was this one right here. I bought this while I was in Kentucky a couple of weeks back. And that is Studio Series Bumblebee RC Deluxe. And I love that Core Class RC figure. I don't have her anymore. And it is because I now have her. This is my RC on my shelf. Is she accurate to Rise of the Beast? No. But this is the bone I wanted from my shelf. Uh, the RC I wanted from my shelf. She looks... Oh, she looks great. So again, I now have pretty much the almost all of the bone movie figures I want. Um, I'm only missing, like I said, uh, Brawn and Wheeljack. I do not want Cliff Jumper or B-127. I have Optimus. That's where I'm staying at when it comes to the bone figures. Rise of the Beasts. Um, I am now... One two, three, four, 
I have four right now of the ones that are out. I am missing Primal, Scourge, Freezer. Obviously, I'm missing RC now, but that doesn't bother me a bit. Uh, I got this guy at the on Wednesday. I went to Meyer to go get my shelf, and when I went there, I was like, I'm gonna walk down the aisles. Meyer has not had anything for the past month, so I was like, they're not gonna have anything. They're not gonna have anything. They had something. Rhydox. Oh, he looks great, doesn't he? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, not a lot of screen time in this mode, but god darn it, did they get these modes right? Both Cheetor and him look fantastic, and they look great with Air Razor. All I need now is Primal, and my Maximals are complete. So, that's Transformers. Very happy. I now have 12 all together for my Transformers. Very happy with it. 13 technically, but he stays in the chest, so I count him part as Soundwave. It's a, it's a, it's a thing. They have to be together. So it's 12 all together. But the next pieces we're going to look at are, well, the next piece, well, pieces we're going to look at are Masters of the Universe Origins. Now, one pack, one is a PowerCon exclusive. One is a standard release that I didn't think I would see for the light of day, but again, my mom is, <coughs> excuse me, my mom is fantastic. She, we took a trip to Walmart just because I, I wanted to go look and see if they had them at Walmart, and they did. So what we'll do, we'll do that first. And that is the final vehicle I needed to complete the Masters of the Universe Origins collection for now. We know, I know Night Stalker's coming next year, but for me, this is the final figure, this is the final vehicle to round out my vehicles that I currently own, and that is the Talon Finder, my most anticipated vehicle or item for Masters this year was this vehicle right here, and it did not disappoint. This thing is incredible. Obviously, it's got the handle. You just pop it into place, and you can go crazy with it. Um, if you open up the top, let me get my finger in there. It can hold up to it can hold two figures comfortably, which is nice. You get the radar dish. You also get the turret, which is new for this one, which I like, but I have it displayed in a certain way on my shelf, so I mainly just keep the radar dish on here because that feels more like the Talon Fighter to me. And with it, it's a Talon Fighter, so obviously you have to have Point Dread, and these two pieces can come apart. This will sit on top of your Grass of Grey Skull, which it does, and that's how I have it displayed with Talon Fighter up top, and it looks incredible. So for me, in my display, I have the turret on this guy right here in the front of the castle. That's how I have it displayed. And it's so nice. I was so nervous that there'd be too much black, uh, too much of the black shading on the green so it wouldn't match up. But I got lucky. Mine got barely any spray on it. So it matches up really well with the castle. So it looks really, really good. But this is the big item for Masters for me. In part two of the series for the summer, I talked about a piece that slipped my fingers at the toy department. It was one of the first items I looked at when the store opened back at the beginning of the month. And uh, back in June, sorry, back in June. And that was the Masters of the Universe Origins PowerCon 2021 exclusive Mysteries of Grey Skull Pack. I talked about how I had it in my hands, how it was 85 bucks, and I was like, you know what, I'm fine. I don't have to get this right now. No one's gonna buy this at the moment. Got chucked up that first day. Second day after they opened, they got chucked up. And I was like, well, that sucks. I'm never gonna see that again. I saw it again. I didn't hesitate. Ladies and gentlemen, I got it. I got it. I got it. So now, I own all the pieces. As you can see, I left the Tendril Monster in here because I'm never going to use it. But I will use these other three pieces proudly in the display. And I actually like one of these pieces that people do not like. I get why they don't like it, but technically it does what it's supposed to do. 
So we'll do that part first, which is the dungeon grate. As you can see, clearly it opens, and you post put the monster in there, and yada, yada, yada. So does this work fundamentally with, with, with the castle? No. It covers up the great great sticker. It looks tacky when you have the in there. However, you can close the castle with this inside, which I think is a plus. However, it does sit underneath, so you can technically open this up and drop a figure here and technically. I really wish this had the port system that um, Snake Mountain does to where you could put a figure here and have it like jutted open with them like trying to crawl out the dungeon. I think that'd be really cool, like that. But I have it displayed, I have it in my castle. It's there if I need to, when, when I open them up and display. Um, I'll be doing a big old Castle, castle Grayskull Snake Mountain video later in the year once I get Snake Mountain here. That'll probably be my big video for the year is I'm gonna do a dual review of both Castle Grayskull and Snake Mountain. That's why I haven't seen any videos really of it yet. Or of any of the Masters of the Universe Origins characters and we will get to that today, I promise. The next piece is the Spirit of Grayskull. Now, I know people have complained that this does not have enough definition in the coloring or in the shading. It doesn't really look like a skull. To me, I agree with that, but it looks so nice sitting on top of Castle Grayskull, like with the spirit just coming out of the castle, having Talon Fighter on the other side. I think it looks awesome. So, I actually really like this piece. So, now, here is the reason... I don't care to say this. Here's the reason why I spent 100 bucks on this set. Here is the reason right here. It's in my hand. It's so crazy to say that it's in my hand, but it's in my hand. And it's this guy. This guy right here. This, to me, is the reason why I spent the money I spent. Is this guy. This is the spacesuit. This is something I never thought I would see in my collecting at all for this line. I thought maybe I'd see a loose one and it'd probably go for like 50, 45 bucks. Uh, granted, I think I spent 50 on this and 50 on everything else combined in the box, but it's worth it. Um, if I can get anything from Mattel that is not put in stores, this is the one I wanted. That's all there is to it. It just, this completes my castle. I, I, I posted a picture on the Masters of the Universe Origins fan Facebook page. Thank you everybody so much for the commenting and the liking and the loving on that picture. It's it, For me, it, it, I stand by what I said. My Castle Grey Skull is complete. I do not need any other fixtures, nothing. I have the space suit, I have the dungeon grate, I have the mystery of Grey Skull, and I have Point Dread. Grey Skull is done. I don't have anything else to add to it. And that makes me so happy to have, finally have this figure. And does it sit nicely in there? No, it doesn't. I really wish if they found a better way to incorporate him into the actual castle. But it's so much better than what you... Than, I hate saying this because I didn't have to spend the money on classics. But it's the truth. It, to me, it, it's how I feel about it. This is so much better than what classics gave to fans with that plastic half sheet of armor that you can sit in the castle. Granted, it fit better, but with this, like, I can take the helmet off of this character, of this, and I can put a character's head there, and they can be wearing the spacesuit. How cool is that? I mean, like, I can, I can actually, like, you know, put them in the Talon Fighter with the spacesuit armor on and the helmet to their side. And, like, when they're ready to get out and go into space, I can take the helmet off, take the head out, and put the helmet on, and it can be like they're actually in space wearing this armor. It's integral and it fits. And also, this entire thing is unique. There is not a single piece on this um, figure, I think minus the actual upper body, that is not um, that is not newly sculpted. We do not have any other uh, character so far with a port on their side of their hand, of their arm. Uh, we do not have this laser in any other form. I believe the only thing that is not new are the shins and that is um roboto's shins but the rest of it's all brand new like the head sculpt's brand new the, the armor's new the forearms are new the hands might be man at arms but they gave us the right one um but yeah spacesuit fantastic 
Now, that all being aside, I no longer have a single piece of turtle in my collection. Not a single piece. And I will explain why. Um, my little sister and I, over, over the weekend when I was there, we started watching uh, Ninja Turtles. Specifically because I took her to see, well I didn't take her to see Me and Mayhem beforehand. We, we started watching Rise of Team and T. Love that show. It's so underrated. It's so good. And so then we went and saw Me and Mayhem together. She's really liking the turtles now. And so for her birthday, I gave her my storage shell turtles. And that was, my, that was one of my presents for her was the storage shell turtles. And she loved them. She absolutely loved them. There is one more piece that we will get to at the end. Because it's very important to me. We will get to there. I, I, I left it on the shelf. I'll have to go get them. And then I picked something up from Toy Department. They convinced me to get it. And I love them. And I was like, I want to get another one. And so my movie Turtles, The Last Ronin, Bumble, oh, Starscream, and RC all went to that. So I have now started a new line of figures. From a company I've never dealt with before. This is all brand new to me. Um, the Four Horsemen. I I know of them. They are legends in the toy industry. They are the ones that were responsible for Masters of the Universe Classics. They sculpted that entire line. They also sculpted 2000X Masters of the Universe series. And they are also responsible for the most well-regarded line in action figures, and that is Mythic Legions. And figure, uh, ac accurate figura, or something along those lines, like, like where the Monkey King is and all them, they are responsible for all those figures. And most people had their Headless Horseman figure from last year as their favorite figure of the year. And so, back last year, they announced Cosmic Legions, which is their space fantasy um, figure line that they're going to be doing. Uh, I had no interest at all. I've not been a, I've not been an interest in Four Horsemen simply because it's an expensive line. It's a really expensive line to get into. There are some characters in there that go for three to four hundred dollars. It's nuts. But I kept seeing these on the on the first shelving um, when you look inside the board apartment. They just sit there, and it's the Cosmic Legion figures. And originally, I went to Toy Department, what was it, Sunday, to go look for Masters of the Universe Origins Moss Man. That was my original intent. And he wasn't there. So I was like, okay, I'll look around the Masters stuff. I had Tila and Zor in my hand, and I only look at Transformers, and I had a, bl a, a, uh, a Blitzwing Complete without box in my hand. And I was like, okay, here we go. Here's the order I want to do. I'm very happy with this order. Let me go towards checkout. I was like, you know what? No. Blitzwing still doesn't feel right yet. That's a figure I really want, but I want it to be at the right time. So I set Blitzwing back. Tila and Zor. I have Tila. Granted, it is 1.0. Tila, not 2.0 Tila with the new legs. It's 1.0 Tila. And so I was like, you know what? I really want to upgrade my Tila. Thir 35 is really asking. F not, not really. It's I think it's the actual asking price on Big Bad Toy Store for Tila and Zor. I believe it's 30 So it's five bucks more. But you also get Zor. And I think it'd be cool to have Zor here. Because I don't have an actual colored sorceress. So that can be my sorceress in my collection. And I was like, you know, no. That didn't feel right either. I almost walked out of there with nothing. Almost. And then one of the new guys at Tour Department, he's been there for a year. I just never talked to him, obviously. I was looking at the Cosmic Legion stuff. Specifically, I was looking at Oleg Thygar from the uh, Havak Guitar uh, version of Oleg. And I was like, and I heard him talking to a customer about the Cosmic stuff and how he was getting into it. And I was like, so let me ask you, if I were to say to get into this line, what's a great figure to start with? Like, what's a great one to like? T test my palette if I like this or not and he said either either version of Oleg the Grave Ring version or the Habakkuk version and I was like okay it was about the same price as everything I was going to get together originally and I was like you know what shoot I'll go for it so I got Oleg uh, uh, Oleg 
Thygar in his half Clotar armor before he gets abducted and put into the grave ring. And let me grab him. Grab two. Okay. Just here. So, and uh, let me take the dome off here real quick so you guys can see him better. And so here he is. This is Oleg, uh, Oleg Thygar in his armor. And, um, it be an understatement to say that the night that I got him, I could not put him down. That'd be an understatement. This is my favorite figure of the year so far. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is my favorite figure of 2023 as of right now. Something can come in and beat it. Completely true. But as of right now, this is my favorite figure of of the year. I don't know what to say. This figure is nuts. It's nuts. It comes with, if you count everything that's on him, that's removable, attachable, between 25, 25 to 30, 30 accessories, all in all, it's nuts. <laughs> Still thirst to it. It's nuts. Um, he comes with these little pistols here on the side. He comes with the dual pistols on the back. Uh, he comes with these clear pegs that you attach in order to, in order to holster the holster the guns. He comes with this battle rifle here. He comes with this dome that you can put over his head. Um, that you can let me get it situated here. Basically, it'll look like that, which is cool. You can remove the bubble. And take that off. And that's not all. Um, if you look in here, I mean, everything's pretty much being used except for a couple pieces and some hands. He comes with, I think, a total of seven sets of hands. Seven or eight. He comes with an extra head. He comes with this really wicked pile driver weapon, which I want to test something when we look at the other figure I have. Let me go ahead and just get that out um yeah he also comes with uh here i can actually just get these out so i can show you guys i won't take them out of the actual uh thing here but as you can see he comes with the extra head he comes with one two three four five six seven eight hands he comes with this really cool um interdimensional calm thing that you can put it in his wrist to look like he's talking to somebody he uh and then he comes with an extra neck peg that you can replace. Um, I'll show you what that looks like here. So basically what you do is you remove, remove the main head. And then you twist it around. Eventually it'll work with you. Woo. There's a reason why that happened. It's, it's, it's fine. But you can remove that piece that exposes more of his neck. You can bring this more piece that looks like the suit. You can get that in there. You can drop his whole body like I just did. This is my only gripe with the figure. Is that... There we go. Wow. That's insane how much that makes a difference. Let me... Oh, just put on this... Uh, crotch guard right here but then you can take his head put it back on and now his armor looks more complete like that he also comes with that extra head but it takes forever to get out of there so i won't leave it there so i'll just put this head back on but yeah um yeah he also comes with this giant thing that is modular you can take this piece off and then you can also take that piece off and do other things with these weapons, which I think is really cool. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, this won't work because of the way the peg system works. So I can just put you right back in here. He also comes like with this waist guard piece. There's a lot here on um, on the waist because like you have like the skirt piece, you have the butt piece, you have. If you want to have these on there, you have these on there to cover up his thighs. And then, if you really want to go crazy, you have this 
on there. So as you can see, there's not a lot of room to facilitate that ball peg. So when you try to pop it, like you have enough room in there to pop it back in, in theory. So like, that's the full look for him. That's the full look with everything on. But when you try to even remotely like rotate his waist, like it doesn't feel like you have enough room to do anything. So it's definitely like there's limitations to it for sure, but I don't care. Um, also, the chests can come off for some reason. It's the, the customization on this thing is nuts. It reminds me a lot of Origins. So I got him, and I was like, this thing is dope. I'm in. I've read up on the uh, the history of Cosmarium, and uh, yeah, no, I'm fully into this line. Fully, 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 fully in. Uh, this will be the line. I want to finish all of Wave 1 by the end of the year. That is a goal. I will hopefully meet and reach said goal. If I don't and I continue on to 2024, that's completely fine. Because I also want to get the next wave uh, coming out as well. I really want to get the PowerCon exclusives of Scourge and um, and Operator 80, 83, I believe is his name. 83. Which is Whiplash and Manny Faces from Masters. And so, yeah. It, so, it started with him. Started with him. Again, I uh, I love this figure. His legs are super loose. Uh, that's my, honestly, honest to God, more so than the ball joint thing is the, is the legs. My leg, the legs are a issue. I know I can, I know I can tighten them up. That's not the issue. So, I got him. And the other one I really wanted was Kragnar, which is their four-armed creature in this universe. And he's also he can be a uh, a quad or a or a doe, which is two which is two arms. And um, we went to toy department yesterday. I sold those things I told you about, and I. Uh, I got him. So there's Kragnar. In all of his glory. So unlike with um, Olek, Kra mm, excuse me, Kragnar, um, his head's weird. When you look at the ball peg, it sits out a little bit more. Also, his neck's at an angle. So, like, he does fantastic side, side, side movement. Like, really fantastic side movement. Um, he can look down pretty well, but he can't look up the best, which is fine. Uh, arms are on a uh, swivel joint. Um, they can do the full 360. He's got bicep rotation, single joint here at the elbow. The guards are a separate piece. Hinges and swivel here at the uh, at the hand. Now. I'm getting new in the legions, so this is technically what this is is a 2.0 body, which is having the diaphragm joint, which is you know up here at the top where you can like moving around. But he also has that waist joint, which is not great, but it's there to be used. Um, the armor can come off as well that he has on. You also have ball like joints here at the uh, yeah, you have ball joints here at the uh, at the thigh. Rotation at the thigh. You have rotation here at the actual um, armor cut. Nine, a little under ninety degrees here at the at the knee. You have a rotation joint here at the foot, and his um, they're getting a little looser. But uh, he had really tight ankle joints, and for some odd reason, you can pop these out. Which I don't know what that means moving forward for this figure. Maybe we we'll get like different feet upgrades. I'm not sure. Um, and then here on the back, you have these little discs. You can rotate these, and you can pop these out like that. And you can add his extra arms that he has. He also comes with an extra head, uh, fists. He comes with uh, three sets of hands. And he also comes with this weapon, this mace weapon, that can also come apart. So maybe I can add more to that, I'm not sure. But 
yeah, Cosmic Legions are now my priority for collecting at the moment. I am... I really want to get a couple more of these figures. I really want to get Slog. Um, I can look at the box here real quick and kind of give you guys a rundown of who I'm really looking for right now. I'm looking for Slog. I'm looking for Zarian and Vorga. Those are the main three I still want. I also want to get the original version of Olek to get the blue body to mix with the uh, with his uh, other one. Uh, I do want to get a science officer, and I do want to get a sentry. I'm not really that interested in the bugs at the moment, but I might be more interested into the Sexians a little bit later. So, Cosmic Legion. Very happy. These things are fantastic. Um, I can now totally see why people love the Four Horsemen. Totally get it. Um, I, now, I now love them too. But I'm going to get something real quick. Real quick. So, I'll come in the frame with them. So this, fig so this piece right here is probably my most important purchase and probably will be my most expensive purchase of the year. Probably. Um, games are separate. They, they're they going to be expensive. But this is probably the most expensive purchase I've made this year. Is this guy. This is the Toy Story collection Woody from Target. Uh, toy department shocked me the first day I went in there and they had him and they had the uh, the Buzz Lightyear that I have. The price tag on him was $250. That's how much he was. Buzz is $260 but Woody was $250. And I was like that's never going to happen. There's no way I'm going to fork that money over. There's no way. But, the day I got him is the day I went to the toy department with my mom and my little sister. And seeing how excited River was about seeing all the toys and all that stuff, having my mom there, it just it felt like the right moment to do it. He was in the basket for the longest time. And so, the day I grabbed him was the day I grabbed uh, Starscream and uh, Starscream, Thrust, and Ravage was the same day. And so, I finally have my accurate Woody in my, in my, with me. And it makes me so happy. Toy Story is the most important movie of my life. More important Star Wars, more important Transformers, Marvel, all of it together. Star War, uh, Toy Story is the most important movie of my life. It is the thing I remember the most as a baby. It is also the thing I remember the most as a child. I had so many Woodies and Buzzes when I was younger. And this fulfills a promise and a dream of a 8, 9, 10... Eight to, eight to ten year old and it feels so good he looks so good with Buzz it makes me so happy and I think that's a perfect way to cap off the summer 2023 haul this has been a lot of fun uh, this has been the most sporadic series I've done on my channel and you know I really thought my master stuff would be in the gray skull portion I do on this channel speaking of I got a little bit here, so I'm going to make this really quick. I know I continuously promise you guys Masters of the Universe Origins reviews. I've been constantly promising you that, and I am sorry I have not fulfilled that. You guys loved that Origins He-Man review from so long ago that I am wanting, I want to make this here and now. So, starting next year, I have enough figures, vehicles, the play sets will be here. I have everything I want. I am now officially ready to, to do to do it. I will be doing Masters of the Universe Origins reviews. Starting in Jan Starting in February. It'll give me a month to get things. I need, I need a few extra things. Mainly Snake Mountain also. <laughs> 
but I also need to get some stuff for recording and that kind of thing. But my goal is in 2024 to do my master's reviews. I have every piece that I want. I have two conventions exclusive to go over with you guys. And I know these reviews are going to be old, out of date, and I don't care. I want to review these things so bad because I love them to death. It is my favorite line to collect. And I want to share the love with you guys. So this one, was, this one was a little longer, but I appreciate you guys coming and enjoying the journey. And make sure by the end of the year, I'm hoping to have the entire first wave of Cosmic Legion in the collection and on the shelf. Every time, man, my nose. Every time. Whenever I start recording without it, my brother urges me. My nose is like <laughs> allergy. Why? Why am I allergic to recording? Why? Why? Why is that a thing? But, yeah, guys, that is everything. So, thank you all very much for coming in and watching this video. Thank you guys very much for experiencing my new love and old passion and pieces I never thought I would see uh, in today's episode of Summer Hall of 2023. Part 3 is in the books. That will be it. We will come back in the winter uh, to do a overall haul for the year. Um, for everything that happened between August and January. So in January, I'll do a big haul video of everything I either collected, got for birthday, Christmas, whatever. We'll all encompass in that one video. And February will kick off the year for Masters. That is the plan. And I will give you guys updated with what goes on if that and that if that sticks to stay and stays and stays true. Thank you guys very much for watching. Like, rate, subscribe, hit that comment section. Let me know your favorite collection, favorite thing you collected or purchased or got in the summer of 2023. And we will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, y'all.